I found that between 2021 and 2022, trash can cleaning businesses as a search term was up 5,000%. Now, that's a huge number. And what that means for 2023 is that competition is on the rise. From the research that I was doing, I'm seeing people at all professional levels performing this service, from fleets of trucks all the way down to college kids in their neighborhood trying to make an extra buck. But what I'm seeing across the board is more or less the same in terms of services provided. That's a high pressure wash, a high temperature steam clean, and in some cases, a deodorizer. But what I'm really seeing is a large opportunity and the potential for even larger profits. Hey, it's Joe from Everest Microbial Defense, and I think I can help your trash can cleaning business stand out, make more money, and get more clients, no matter what level you're operating at. This graph is from Google Trends over the last five years, and it's tracking the popularity of the term side hustle. Now, I know not all of you are running a side hustle. Some of you have trash can cleaning businesses you've been running for years. But the point I'm trying to make here is that competition is on the rise, and it's going to become even more important that you're able to set yourself apart. Now for me, as I'm doing this research, a light bulb immediately went off. In the past, Everest has worked with a multitude of cleaning business owners to help them add to their service offering and ultimately get more clients and make more money. One of the key things that we learned from consulting these cleaning businesses is that clients want something very specific and it goes far beyond clean. To understand what their clients were looking for, we had to ask one very important question. Why? Why is the number one question when trying to get into the mindset of your customers? First off, why do people hire for cleaning services in the first place? For a trash can cleaning business, anyone could go out with a garden hose and a brush and clean their garbage can. But why don't they? Well, because they don't have time. See, you've invested in equipment and you can do a quality job. Therefore, you're gonna save the customer time. Next up, everybody likes the way a clean garbage can looks. Nobody wants a dirty, grimy, nasty looking garbage can sitting outside their house. Clean cans simply look better. Okay, so there you have it. We've answered why someone would come to you for a can cleaning service. But I'd beg to differ. I think there's one step deeper that we could go. Let's go back to a generic cleaning example. Why someone hires out for cleaning, we've established that. It saves the customer time. But why they hire a cleaning service is not just to make their environment look better, it's because the customer wants to feel safer in that environment between cleanings. That's the key. That's the key why when it comes to cleaning services. So if we take that into a trash can cleaning business, why does your customer want their cans cleaned? Well, the problem they're trying to solve is not just that their cans look dirty, it's because they smell terrible. And if they smell terrible, what they're looking for is a solution to that problem between the times that you come to clean them. They want you to take care of the odors in their trash cans, and then they want their cans to remain odor free. Now the question becomes, how do you take this information to increase the profits of your cleaning business? Okay, we're at the part of the video where I change my shirt. It's a little dark. And I tell you, if you're enjoying the content, please drop us a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. As an added bonus, we give away 100 free products down in the description every week. So be sure to hit your bell notifications so you never miss a video and never miss a giveaway. Okay. Let's get back to it. And we know there's three main ways to increase our profit. We can either increase our price, we can increase our customer base, or we can reduce our cost. To increase your customer base, you're going to need the right message, right? You're going to need to attract more customers. To increase your price, you're going to need justification. You can't just increase your price and expect your customers to pay it without some form of justifying that new price point. Reducing cost becomes a little bit more tricky. It typically relies on factors outside of our control, like the cost of gas to get from job to job. And sometimes when we look to reduce costs, we run the risk of cutting corners. And when we cut corners, we lose clients and profits drop. That's not what we're trying to do. Okay, just a little disclaimer before we go any further. The rest of this video is really only for those that are looking for that competitive edge. If you're happy with where your can cleaning business is right now, that's great, that's fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing, and I wish you all the best. What's next is only for those looking to innovate. What's next is for those looking to get ahead of the curve and to start thinking a little bit more critically about how their clients think about getting their trash cans cleaned. We've established why they want their cans cleaned. They don't want them to stink. They want lasting protection from odors. We've established why they hire you. They're looking to save time. It's something they don't want to do on their own. And we've also established that to increase our profits, we need the right message for more clients, 
and we need the right justification for increased prices. So imagine adding this message to your service offering. We take care of can odors and keep them away until the next cleaning. Could you market that message? All day long. Would your customers respond to that message? All day long. This is what they're looking for. This is why they want their cans cleaned. This is the core problem that they're looking to solve. The million dollar question becomes, how do you deliver upon the promise to keep odors away between cleanings? Well, at Everest, our channel mantra, something you've probably heard before, is don't just disinfect, protect. Disinfection is what takes care of the current cause of odors, and that's bacteria, odor causing bacteria. When you can get rid of those bacteria and then seal the deal with an antimicrobial surface protectant, you can guarantee to your clients that their can will remain odor free until the next time you come to clean it. To disinfect a trash can, there's really two ways to do this. For the commercial cleaners out there, typically they're using a high temperature steam, which when bacteria are exposed to high temperatures for an extended period of time, usually a few minutes, it'll properly sanitize and disinfect that trash can. For those of you just using a handheld pressure washer, know that pressure alone, while it might get rid of the mud and the dirt and the gook that's inside the trash can, it's not going to be enough to take care of the bacteria that cause odors. What you would need to do is add a disinfectant. Now I'll link some of those down in the description below, ones that we use and trust. As long as you use those disinfectants properly, you'll take care of the bacteria. Finally, to guarantee the protection from odors, you need to follow up with an antimicrobial surface protectant to prevent new odor causing bacteria from growing inside or even outside the trash can. At Everest, we have an antimicrobial protectant called EV360. I'll link that down in the description below. I will like to mention that EV360 is only available in a certain number of states. Let me know down in the comments where you'd like to order EV360 and we'll take care of getting it registered in your state. The best part about all this is the additional investment is minimal, especially when you think about what it costs to apply per can. A little bonus tip, you're gonna find that disinfectants and antimicrobial surface protectants typically come in two forms when it comes to delivery systems. You could buy a 32 ounce pistol grip spray bottle, but you end up using a lot more product and therefore the cost ends up being a little bit higher. What we recommend to all of our clients is to go and get an electrostatic sprayer. Now I'll link one down in the description below. The Victory Sprayer, it's relatively cheap as of the time of this recording. The reason we like to use an electrostatic sprayer rather than a pistol grip is it allows you to use a lot less product and still cover the same amount of area. And when it comes to add-ons like this, you wanna use as little product as possible to keep your additional cost down. Remember, when it comes to increasing profits, you need to justify an increase in your price. And you're gonna be increasing your price to cover this increase in cost. But you're also going to justify it with the right message to your clients. That message being, we take care of can odors and keep them away until the next cleaning. This is the type of thinking you need to do if you're going to create a differentiator that can justify an increased price point or get you new clients through the right messaging. Remember, competition breeds innovation. Innovation breeds opportunity. And if you are willing to seize that opportunity, it will lead to a big payday. If you'd like some information on how to use disinfectants more effectively, check out this video over here where we tell you three tips to make your disinfectant spray even more effective. And we'll catch you in the next one.